Shalom, beloved. The word. This morning while I was woke and meditating on the word and thinking, I had a vision of a beautiful newborn baby boy, a Hebrew baby boy. He was so beautiful head full of thick hair and my heart had so much love for him i wanted i mean and he just stayed in front of me this beautiful newborn baby hebrew as the day progressed and i'm thinking about the different events that are going on i realized that baby is Yasharel. That baby is Yasharel. Right now, the world is talking about we're in a cold red for humanity. The news and the different um, entities are expressing that humanity has to do better. Okay, that somehow now it's everybody that has caused this so-called global warming, this climate crisis. But we know that the judgment of Yah has come. And to put it in a better way, I'm looking for, okay, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The Lord brought this to my spirit because we are watching the end of Esau. We are watching the end of Esau. Since 2019, Things are increasing at a greater rapid speed, so much so that now multiple news sources are calling a cold bread for humanity. I hope that this um, broadcast can play. I'm going to play a little bit of it as I speak. Their once in a decade climate report is out today, and with it comes a warning about what could happen if humans do not aggressively change. It's the world's most expansive report yet into climate change, and there's no sugarcoating it. The UN report says at this point, we are not able to stop global warming for at least 30 years. Essentially, a hotter future is already locked in. A future where extreme weather events like devastating fires, historic flooding, and extreme heat are all more common. The report's authors are essentially sending the world's leaders a final wake-up call, curb emissions and dramatically reduce consumption or face a world that is fundamentally different. As this report goes on, they are also talking about a climate exodus. One of the things that had been on my spirit that I have been speaking to Yahoo about was how we were all going to leave uh, the multiple areas that we were scattered to. What would cause us all to be of one mind to exit that exodus? Okay. Well, historically, whether people talk about the Ice Age or different global events, Historically, people migrate because of different events. As it stands right now, they're starting to talk about the fact that some areas where people live are slowly becoming uninhabitable, that the, uh, be it the rise in the water level, be it the flash floods, be it the tornadoes that just come without warning and just destroy areas where the people really don't have any choice but to leave. They're also talking about the uh, 
intolerable heap of some areas that are becoming like unto deserts. Um, right now, Siberia, which in the winter is known as the one of the coldest places on earth, is experiencing unprecedented fires that is changing the uh, the ecology, the ecosystem. Not to mention, even though Yasharel doesn't eat it, shellfish are just cooking in the water during these heat waves. Um, over there in the West Coast, over in the Midwest, they are experiencing this. This is going on globally. I just wanted to show some of the images, these fires all around the world, the floods, they're calling it cold red for humanity. Whole towns, whole areas are being destroyed. Um, they're talking about climate change, okay? If you watch, as it began to alter, it's hitting a pinnacle here between 2019, 2020. And one of the things that I wanted to go into, because like I said, this is talking about the glaciers and uh, the North Pole and these areas where the ice is just melting at record-breaking speeds. Humans are to blame. Our actions have us at the breaking point, even if we meet the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The number 1.5 degrees Celsius, there was this, ideally from the Paris Agreement, we would try to keep warming below that level. I'm going to skip that because I just, the conversations of others, this is the glaciers that are melting where they thought it would happen over decades. It's happening over months, over months. Okay. Base of one day in July could cover the entire state of Florida in two inches of water. Okay. Our I'm oceans gonna... changed our planet's glaciers. In Greenland, the amount of ice that melted in the space of one day in July could cover the entire state of Florida in two inches of water. And no matter what we do, the ice melt is going to continue and get worse. Jen. Again, as I stated, they are now beginning to speak of an exodus. An exodus, they're calling it a climate exodus. As you can see, here in my panel, they're calling it a climate exodus, but they know we are at the end. I'm going to see the end of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Again, like I, the reason why I'm doing this is the Most High gave me an image, a vision an open vision, just like I'm sitting here talking to you now. I was wide awake and the baby was just in front of me. And it was a beautiful baby boy, a newborn baby boy, a Hebrew, a Yashualite. And I know that's the most high letting me know that Yasharel, whether we know it or not, we are and have been born. If you remember during the time of the first Egypt, when Egypt was being torn down, Yasharel was in the midst of her birth. Okay, they came in a family of 70, but they left out a nation. Okay, we came in enslaved but we are going out in glory i want to find um and king i'm reading the king james version book of isaiah chapter 66 verse 9 shall i bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth save the most high shall i cause to bring forth and shut the wound we have been at the beginning we have been in the midst of birth pain 
but we're waiting for our birth. But what many people don't realize is we are literally watching it. And what is the sign? How do we know? Because his word says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? I'm going to go a little further. I don't really want the talking heads. I wanted to show you different portions of these news clips. Weather events taking such an emotional toll on these communities. How are people that you're respond you're talking to responding to it all? Uh, yeah, Lindsay, emotional is the perfect word to describe it. No matter where we are, we always hear the same thing. People tell us they're exhausted, they're angry, and they're scared. Uh, here in Greece, people are tired. They're exhausted. The fires here on this island alone have been going on for more than seven days. You know, we're talking about these extreme once-in-a-lifetime events that, Lindsay, now seem to be happening at least once a summer, and they're lasting for longer than ever. I mean, you talk about just the toll that takes on someone, because all of this is so personal. And we heard from that one young man who said, my island is on fire. You know, these fires are burning through people's homes. These uh, ferries and, and bus and uh, uh, boats behind me, they are all on standby waiting if someone needs to be evacuated. Many of the reporters now are beginning to speak about it being apocalyptic, about it being biblical, they're also speaking about the fact that um, in Germany, where they dealt with the mudslide, they're asking, why did uh, God abandon us? Doesn't God hear us? Yasharel, through brutality, through murder, through robbery, through oppression, through overwhelming racism, has been crying out and crying out. One of the things that in the midst of this that you don't hear from most people is the fact that there is a spiritual imbalance that has gone on through greed, through corruption, through murder, through unholy acts, and the earth is cleansing itself. No one wants to recognize what has been done I'm trying to find the one that I had. Forgive me, I'm going to need a moment. <clears throat> I'm in 2nd Esdras chapter 6. I'm at the 20th verse. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall all they shall all see together. Now, there's another portion. I'm looking for it. I may have jumped ahead. Forgive me. I had it in another. Um, I'm going to skip over. Bear with me. I just need a little bit of patience. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. There are areas that have been thriving, that have prospered, that have flourished, while others have gone without through greed, through disregard, through inhumanity to man. And now those sown places are appearing unsown. Unsown be it through floods, unsown be it through fire, unsown be it through torrential rains, hurricanes, tornadoes. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. There is another one. Okay. I am in the book of Isaiah, chapter 65. I'm at the 17th verse. I'm reading this. Okay, this is not on the screen. Book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 17. For behold, I create a new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. Again, I'm going to take you to 
the cold red for humanity. There are few people that are putting this out there. They're also talking about a climate exodus because of these extreme weather events. Okay. But what is happening is the most high, we're in book of Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that in which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. I'm not going to go but so far into it because at this point, I'm just going to talk. The world is hollering, cold red, cold red, okay? You're going to hear it from multiple news sources. I was going to go up and down. But basically what it is, it's the end of Esau. I had a vision and the baby, I mean, the baby just stayed there for a good 15, 20 seconds, which is a very long time. A beautiful baby boy, thick head of hair, and he was newborn. And it lines up. Yasharel is in the midst. They are born and the nation is about to leave. The, the other nations are talking about an exodus now. They're talking about it regarding the weather. But we know the Most High uses the weather as his weapons of war. Okay. I wanted to see if I could find it because I've been... Okay. I'm going to start at verse 18. I'm back in 2 Exodus chapter 6, starting at the 18th verse. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth and will begin to make inquisitions of them. What they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. Okay, this world, not the whole world, but this system is vanishing away. And there is a new birth, beloved. It is now, there are even signs is going on all over the world. And they're even talking about the... Um, climate exodus but this isn't coming strictly because of the climate they have dishonored the most high they have not honored his laws his statutes they have not honored the earth they have not honored living things be they people be they the air be they the water be they the ground none of it has been honored and therefore the exact things that they have dishonored, he is using. He's cleansing the earth, beloved. But be encouraged because we are at the end of Esau. And, J and Yasharel is at their beginning. We are seeing it. It's going on globally. I just wanted to say this because I saw the image of the baby. And this cold red for humanity. <clears throat> it is cold red for those who have been abusive, those fat cats, those greedy greedies who cared about nothing, no one, and definitely had no honor for the most high or any of his laws and statutes. And those amongst the Gentiles and heathens who refused to honor the most high in his Torah those two thirds among Yasharel who refused to honor the laws, the statutes, the Torah, and recognize Yah as Yah, the Most High is removing them. We are about to exit. The world now, the world is ready to do an exodus, beloved. Remember, 10 people shall grab hold of one 
of Yasharel, because they will know. The Most High is going to reveal it. However, he goes about that. He goes about that. That he is with Yasharel, and they will know it and begin to claim all these riches, all this money, those things that are sown are appearing unsown because it's burning up, it's coming to nothing. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, be it through floods, be it through fire, be it through um, tornadoes, whirlwinds, empty. Everything that they gathered up is rusted and cankered because the judgment is upon this earth and all those who dishonored the Most High and his people. I wanted to give this word, and I hope that it came out clear. Right now, the Most High is making inquisitions of them, and he's using his power, his arsenal, his weapons, and now they want to holler out everybody, we're in cold red. We've been in cold red, but there was nobody to stop these lawless, godless people. So the Most High has put on his garments of war. He's put on his vesture of wrath. He's not looking for any assistance. He's using his weapons of war, which are the weather. There's also gonna come a point, beloved, where we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. And even if Esau makes a final stance, it will not matter. It will not matter because the world and all those who have dishonored the most high, who dishonored and abused the earth, who dishonored and abused Yasharel, they're under judgment. It's going on worldwide. There were other videos I was going to play, but I think this is enough. Again, I had a vision of a baby boy. Just like I'm sitting here now, I was sitting in the same spot early this morning and the baby just appeared, a beautiful full head of hair baby boy, newborn. Yasharel, if you can see on my screen, it says the climate exodus. I don't want to play, but so many videos on here, but these newscasts are talking about cold red and they're talking about the possibility of a climate exodus. They, I believe, it's somewhere in their madness think they're going to follow Yasharel and continue the unholy, greedy, disregarding way of life, but the Most High is in judgment. He's judging all these nations. Be encouraged, beloved. We're about to go home. Be encouraged. Shalom.